a Bible translation made by artificial intelligence? You say, really? Yeah. <laughs> Just when you think it can't get any stranger or sicker, it does. Um, here we have a, a brother sent me this. A friend of the ministry sent me this. Um, Prophecy Watchers. And it goes down here, the pure word. We'll talk about the symbol right there, obviously, the cult. But um, Brent Miller thrilled the crowd at our recent prophecy conference in Norman, Oklahoma, with a fascinating presentation on a mission that has consumed 20 years of his life. His new Bible translation is sure to provide you with a wonderful study companion to your favorite Bible translation. I highly doubt that. Comparing notes and examining scriptures side by side along the way. His conference message, Lost Understandings from the Ancient World, is yours as a free DVD bonus with your purchase of the Pure Word Bible. These, a lot of these Christian ministries are just hawking these books all the time, just DVDs and books, and you, you get the free thing and stuff. They're businesses. That's all they are. Um, and you know, lost understanding. Oh, we don't, we don't have that. There's new revelations that have come from our new translation. They all say that. Every single one of them. You know, your King James Bible doesn't work. You can't use this Bible to witness to the lost, and you can't, you know, live a victorious Christian life with this King James Bible. You're just you're lost with it. You know, it's just been around for 400 years, led millions of people to the Lord, but but it's just all of a sudden it's just no good anymore. <laughs> it's absurd. Um, the pure word breathes new life and a deeper understanding into your study of God's word by presenting a New Testament translation that contains the intended intended depths of scriptural meaning based on the original Greek. They've never seen the original autographs. They put in the original Greek to make the, 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 the reader think, oh, they have access to the original autographs or something like this. It's absurd. Never before, never before, it's the first time ever, has such a pure and genuine translation been completed in our modern age and the unprecedented version of the New Testament is an invaluable tool for pastors, theologians, or Bible students that can be studied purely on its own alongside your favorite version of the Bible. Yeah, they all do this. They all do this. Never before. It's the first ever. It's a, yeah, you know, your King James Bible just, you know, turned the world upside down. Done amazing things. Change will change your life. But it's just no good now that we have this new translation. Lost in the translation. Most Bible scholars, biblical scholars agree that all existing English Bible translation contain various errors due to various cultural interpretations that result from the complexities associated with translating the Greek language into English. <laughs> that's why I don't that's why I don't waste time with Greek. Because I have a perfect English Bible. Proven over and over and over and over again by the fruit that it bears. By the pure doctrine that comes out of the King James Bible. And watch this. I'm not gonna read this whole thing. It's just it's it's the same just vomit that they regurgitate over and over again. It's the purest now. This is this has never been done before. Finally you can understand what the Bible was supposed to mean. And and we we just it's gonna be just it's gonna make a huge impact on the Christian world and <sighs> so disgusting. Um how was the pure word translated? I'm gonna show you something interesting here in just a minute, but I'll just show you a little bit of this. During these last days God has blessed mankind with the culmination of nearly developed uh, hermeneutic-based patented processes <laughs> and tools that have allowed this translation to be completed in over 20 years of painstaking work <laughs> versus what would normally have required multiple lifetimes if attempted before our modern age. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, you know, I mean, they just, see how it gets better and better and better? Evolution, you see? And you think I'm joking. Um, I'm going to show you the proof that this Satanist right here, this Brent Miller Satanist, go to hell, burn. You just, you're just disgusting, this man. Uh, just unreal. They, this, uh, these people are literally Satanic, just other. They're disgusting. I think the guy's Illuminati. And he comes out and he, he makes a translation of the scriptures because we're so stupid to use the King James Bible. Ugh, this ticks me off. And uh, he uses artificial intelligence. And he admits it. I'm going to show you the proof. Um, you know, it goes down through the whole stupid nonsense here. It's just the same old thing over and over and over again. But uh, where's the thing? Yeah, check this out. It's so. It's just like you people are so predictable. 
I mean, you're such idiots, you know? All you new versionists out there, you're such, you're, you're imbeciles, okay? Give me a break. They all compare themselves to the King James Bible. Their agenda is so crystal clear. They all want to get rid of the book. They can't stand the King James Bible. This thing scares them, right? Look at this. Differences make a difference. What do they compare it to? The King James Version. Why? Why not compare it to the NIV or the English Standard Version or some? The the King James Bible supposedly is archaic and no good. Then why bring it up? Here he is, right here. Here's this devil worship. I mean, the guy looks like he's just possessed with devils. I mean, just just looks evil, and his son looks like he's got some devils in him too. But check this out. Brent Miller, Miller Sr. is a former Fortune 500 executive who has amassed over 30 U.S. patents for cutting-edge artificial intelligence software advancement. You know, a lot of the Mark of the Beast type of stuff and whatever else, this, this guy's working in that industry. But he's going to use his artificial things to, artificial intelligence things to translate the Bible. Many of these are now being applied to reshaping our understanding of biblical hermeneutics and translation. Artificial intelligence, people. Yes, we're actually reading this. He is also the founder and president of One Path Publishing, a theological research company that is applying these new breakthroughs in ancient Greek to a New English Bible translation that unveils groundbreaking scriptural insights. Like we didn't have them in the past. This new translation could directly impact Christianity by maintaining the original depth of meaning within the gospel in these volatile times. He also periodically comes on board as a producer and advisor with Ingenuity Films, the studio behind the critically acclaimed and award-winning documentaries, blah, 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 satanic nonsense. Look at his, look at his uh, little devil son here. Uh, Brent Miller Jr., Ingenuity Films. Brent Miller Jr. is the founder and ex executive director of Ingenuity Films, the award-winning California-based studio behind The Final Prophecies and the Coming Convergence documentaries, as well as the critically acclaimed Decoding the Future Prophecy series. Brent Jr. has over 20 years of experience working in new media and film production with several Fortune 500 companies, ready, including MTV Networks in New York City. Are you kidding me? Witnessing firsthand now preconceived anti-biblical views used by big media became become popular opinion. Uh, yeah, the people that are into satanic ritual abuse and and all kinds of weird, bizarre, horrible, you know, stuff out there in Hollywood. And he's working in that field as a professing Christian. Ingenuity Films was founded to combat these public misconceptions by presenting biblical truth through utilizing apologet apologetics and insider marketing strategies <laughs> to reach mainstream audiences with unprecedented effectiveness. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, you know, I mean, just, why don't we just get people that are just like, you know, we'll just pick criminals in jail that have, you know, murdered 15 people and say, he's a new Bible scholar. <laughs> Christian or something. I mean, just here's another guy, Paul McGuire. Look at this. Um, Paul McGuire show host for 10 years on the, uh, the Paul McGuire show and has been the executive producer on two science fiction films in Hollywood. Sure. Why not? Like, you know, Paul Wittenberger, Steven Anderson's, you know, movie film guy. And the guy works in Hollywood while producing Anderson's films. And that's normal. We're the sick ones, as Bible-believing Christians, that hold to the King James Bible. We're the ones that are, are sick, and, and we're not good Christians. But, I mean, right there. The guy looks like he's half a robot himself. I mean, look at, this, look at the guy. You know? And this is this uh, Prophecy Watchers, you know, that they, they, right there. The Blessed Hope Prophecy Forum. I don't trust these guys for anything. Thomas Horn's got connections to the Catholic Church, you know smiling suit and tie, you know, look at our $100,000 studio. <laughs> you can trust us. Yeah. Here we have, oh, Prophecy Watchers, the store selling a bunch of satanic nonsense like this perverse thing. And again, look at it. The pure word. Got a bunch of Greek words down here. 
there. I mean, just yeah. witchcraft tricator right there. Right here, Book of Shadows, right there, freewitchcraftspells.com. You know, right there. I mean, let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. Right there, witchcraft website. See how they have the tricator? Tricator with a circle around it. Tricator with a circle around it. But I'm the sick one. I'm the one who's in the role for attacking a dear brother. He's a dear brother. He's just trying to make the Bible easier for us to understand. Where's that devil worship right there? He, you know. <laughs> Unreal. I mean, it just it's so beyond sick. And some of these guys, what was the other guy? Uh yeah. Bob McGinnis here. Bob McGinnis is an experienced and internationally known expert on national security and foreign affairs. CFR, you know, Council on Foreign Relations, sounds like that. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Bob McGinnis, uh, or Maginus, I'm not sure how you would say that. U.S. Army retired, is also Vice President of Maryland-based business, serving the U.S. government. You know, Bill Koenig here. Um, Bill and his wife Claudia reside in the Washington, D.C. area, where Bill is a White House correspondent. Government goons, look at this guy. Dr. Michael K. Lake. Um, he turned his research skills toward understanding occult mind control and their tactics for ma manipulating and controlling the church. It's like, a, okay, you know, just, I mean, why don't they just, you know, take pictures of him in black robes with dripping blood daggers and just say, you know, he, you know, sacrifices children and is an expert on, um, you know, mind control and ritual, you know, magic and stuff like this, black magic. And he loves Jesus. <laughs> like, ah, oh my word. It's just, it's so ridiculous. You know? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little rant sometime on the whole new version issue thing. It's just, it's, it's getting so old. You know, I mean, there's no excuse anymore for standing up for these new perversions. There's so much stuff that's come out against these Vatican versions. I mean, you know, don't buy this stuff. You know, I just, you know, this is why it's important to expose some of this stuff from time to time. I mean, just, ugh, it's so vexing, but I've said enough. Uh, stick to your King James Bible, brethren. Don't let anybody shake your faith. I mean, <laughs> this really doesn't shake anybody's faith. It's just like another idiot coming out and saying, my Bible translation is the best yet, you know. Uh, we used uh, artificial intelligence to translate it. <laughs> oh, that'll do it, you know. <laughs> uh.